Hi guys, what's the crack? Um, it's Sean talking to you from lovely sunny Johanna at the moment. It's mad, we all go into quarantine and suddenly the sun decides to shine in Ireland. Wish your luck. We will make the best of it. Get out into your back gardens or your front gardens or your balconies, wherever you are, and make the best of it. Um, but uh, more importantly, happy Easter. Um, I hope we all had a, a good weekend. It is a tough Easter, a very difficult Easter as as, as Catholics, you know, to, to be away from our, our Catholic communities, from our church, from this massive celebration of, of the Eucharist, you know, this celebration of Christ's passion, his death and his resurrection, this celebration that, that Christ died for us and came back to, to save us all, you know, to not be with our communities uh, in, in our churches is very, very difficult. You know, but um, I hope everyone um, made the best of it at home because I've seen this thing. Uh, someone said to me, sent me a text saying like, you know, like, oh, the churches are closed. It's all this negativity that like we're not able to go to church. And, and that's fair. It's very difficult, you know, but we have church at home, you know, right now in, the, in this time. Um, we, have, we have church at home, you know, and we have to be missionaries in our homes. Um, and, and to those people we might meet on our two kilometer walk, you know, um, or wherever we may go if we're still in work to still be those missionaries. Um, I think one thing that struck me over, over doing the Easter ceremonies from home was uh, I read, we were reading a lot of the readings and stuff ourselves um, as a family. And uh, on Thursday evening, um, we read on from uh, so the Passover uh, reading um, of the gospel on Thursday evening and we read on and what that passage ends with is uh, it's John 13 um, verse 20 and it ends with truly truly I say to you he who receives anyone whom I send receives me truly truly I say to you he who receives anyone whom I send receives me and as Catholics, as Christians, we have been sent out by the risen Lord to be like missionaries. And at the moment, that's very difficult. We, we can't go out onto the streets. We can't go to, to Africa or wherever we want to go and be missionaries. We need to be missionaries in the home. And like that might sound like a really simple idea, but it's very difficult because at home, it's where like we want to chillax. We don't want to like be missionaries but at home is where it might be most needed we might be living with families who aren't in the faith or living in with friends who aren't in the faith and now we're trapped with them for such a long time like what better way to to bring christ to them than in their own home but in the simple ways to be patient with people like that is such a thing we need to do at the moment because you're living with people for every day every hour of the day you're walking by them in the hall or you're using the bathroom and trying to get in you know in a big family you know and so like we need patience we have to have that like and we have to have so many qualities at the moment that is so challenging and you know we can't we're, it's very difficult like to, so he is asking us to, to go out and be like him to to let people receive him through us which is a big ask a big big ask and it's an even bigger ask right now but what we need to do is to is to to work on that and if we're going through like anger or annoyance or like we're annoyed at someone in the house or we're angry they didn't wash the dishes or they didn't put their clothes in the basket or something something very like typical you know, we get annoyed by it so easily because we're all living on top of each other. Then we take that to the Lord. You know, we need to take that anger and frustration to the Lord so we can then bring the Lord to these people because people need the Lord right now. They really do. Like our world is like in a very deep and dark place, you know, even before this pandemic. But even now, it's even darker. But the Lord is shining in. There is a church in everyone's house right now. The churches may be closed, but there is a church in everyone's house and you need to bring that, be that person that brings the light of Christ, brings the church into their lives right now. And that is the challenge we are set as missionaries in quarantine. So I really challenge you to do that, to take those anger and frustrations you're getting during quarantine to the Lord, to then turn them into joy, to be that simple smile in the morning for someone to make their day and even on your two kilometer walk if you see someone smile at them a simple smile especially now 
could literally make their day because that person could be isolated. They could be living alone. They could be living in a house where there's abuse. They could be living in a house where they just don't get on with the people they're living with. You know, you don't know what your simple smile or what your simple putting the dishes away or doing the washing will do for someone else in your house or someone else you might meet out about. So really, we are in a challenging time for missionaries, but we that doesn't mean we can't be missionaries. It means we need to strive to be even better missionaries in our house. And that is, that is the most challenging place. So just because the churches are closed, just because we can't go worship the Lord in the church, does not mean we can't worship him through our actions and bring the church into the home. I want to end with, with, a, with a very uh, good prayer, I think, for the moment. And it's the serenity prayer. Um, a lot of you might have heard of it. But I think it's a, it's a very important prayer for the moment because we can be so frustrated with what's happening and that we can't change it and that it's taking so long to change and that these quarantines are being extended and all that. And it, it, is, it is a very frustrating time. But we need to take those frustrations to the Lord. I think this prayer really um, really, really helps me take those frustrations to the Lord anyway. And so I hope it helps you. It's Lord, grant us the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Amen. Guys, bless you all. I hope you all are having a great Easter time. 50 days of Easter, don't forget. So celebrate for those 50 days and enjoy them. And hopefully we'll all be together soon. God bless. Love you all.